It is a gift. It is who I am. That's why I am who I am. Um, it shows that I am of the gods, whether I run from it or I am for it. Um, being in the house has shown me a lot, and I learned a lot from all the housemates that walk those doors. And I've taken from them as much as they have from me. Um, and I had my guard up for the longest time. And you go through sangomaphobia in your community, and you think that, you know, it should be a norm. And I went into the house rocky at start, but I felt acceptance at a later stage in the house. Um, I did introduce myself in the first week, and I did say me sangoma, but I did mention that I'm not a magician, I'm a healer. I was not there to make magic. And if I was not meant to be there, Islam would have not allowed the situation to happen. So I went there and I was myself and I broke stereotypes so that within being Isangoma, there still exists a, a human being, you know, that goes to life, oh papa, you know, and I, I lived my best life in the house. So um, I, I kept faith in the house a lot. That was all I had, that was all I could do because I was trapped in the space of Upeti me tina, or does she have something she's going to use, or what's, or what's not? And I did not hide whenever I would pray, and I did so that Izozi is not um, something you can touch with your hands. It's within me. It's, it's the power I walk with. So my faith carried me in the house, and winning was destiny. It was a dream that became reality.